All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next Super 5 scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, he was with us at Glory 1 Stockholm, and tonight makes his third Glory appearance, fast becoming an American favorite. Please welcome Kai Hollenberg. So 26-year-old Kai Hollenbeck fighting for the first time since undergoing surgery on his right knee that he injured in his loss to Giorgio Petrosian last November at Glory 3 in Rome, Italy. In that fight, he learned that he needs to calm down in the ring, control himself, then control his opponent. Born and raised in the San Francisco Bay Area, he began wrestling at the age of 10, taking up Muay Thai at 15. And he's also had some MMA experience, Stephen. Yeah, he has, and he's used that crushing overhand right to get things done. That was talked to him by WBA and WBC boxing champion Lucito Espinosa. He's also got a really stiff left jab and a devastating left spinning back fist. More than half of his opponent's 73 career victories have come by knockout. Here comes heavy-handed Albert Kraus. Thirty-three-year-old Albert the Hurricane Kraus from the Super Pro Gym in the Netherlands shot to kickboxing fame when he won the first ever K1 Max tournament back in 2002. He's coming off a loss to Andy Risty at Glory 8 by way of a knee to the jaw knockout in the second round and he is back looking to prove that he is still a force to be reckoned with at lightweight. And with Albert Krause, we know what we're going to get. He is a relentless puncher, world-class boxing offense. He used to know how to dogfight, but now he's more refined and picks his shots. And he must protect his legs from kicks from the outside and go to the inside and land those bombs. Here are the numbers for this matchup. Uh, these gentlemen match up. Uh, Krause has got a huge... Uh, uh, advantage and experience. Uh, he's a little bit older, so that uh, gives a nod to Hollenbeck. But uh, I'm telling you, the instituting of the fresher athlete made it full effect for Kai Hollenbeck to neutralize against all that experience from Kraus. Ladies and gentlemen, this super fight and a catchweight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first fighting out of the black corner, he was a WBC interim middleweight world champion. His professional record, 44 wins with three losses, 23 wins by knockout. Standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, 1.75 meters, he weighed in at an even 157 pounds, 71.2 kilos. Representing the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, Kai Hollenberg. His opponent opposite the ring and fighting out of the white corner, a former IKBA Thai boxing champion. His professional record truly impressive. 73 wins, 16 losses, 3 draws, 43 wins by knockout. Standing 5 feet 8 and a half inches, 1.74 meters, and weighing in at 155 pounds, 70.3 kilos. Fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, it's Albert the Hurricane Kraus! The referee in charge of this match is Marcos Rosales. Hi! Albert, let's go! My piece. My piece. All right, gentlemen, I've already gone over the rules. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Three rounds. The referee is Marcos Rosales. Hollenbeck took this fight on just one and a half weeks' notice. That is why it is at a catch weight, even though Let's for go, ranking gentlemen, the out points of the purposes, it will be considered a lightweight matchup. He just graduated from San Francisco State University with a degree Box. in kinesiology. The bell and a round one underway as the two veterans touch gloves. A much anticipated lightweight matchup. Hollenbeck back from injury while Kraus wants to get back in the win column following that crushing loss to Andy Risty earlier this year. Yeah, both making uh, both guys making a comeback of sorts. Hollenbeck has been training with Joe Schilling, so he's in pretty decent shape for this fight. 
Oh. There's a spinning back fist that lands by Hollenbeck in the black gloves, Kraus in the white. So already resorting to the element of surprise early in round one. Hollenbeck said he's going to use that left kick to ten tenderize the right hand of Kraus because he feels that Kraus pretty much is right hand heavy in his punching attacks. Good start for Hollenbeck here in round one as he immediately goes on the attack, attacking the body with those front kicks, the front leg kick to the body. Now the clinch and a knee and a nice right cross there by Hollenbeck, but a good counter right by Kraus. Yeah, Kraus did catch him and they caught him again. Right away, stop! These punching Break exchanges. Go. Ready? Go! The theoretically are going to favor Kraus. Because Hollenbeck is such a strong Muay Thai fighter, he likes to get that clinch. And using the knees in the clinch midway through round one. Keep him up, keep him up, Kai, keep him up. Jab by Hollenbeck, backs up Kraus. Hollenbeck standing his ground here in round one, a great start. He's staying busy. Yeah, no ring rust yet as he gets caught again with that right hand by Kraus. Kraus with a good right hand on the inside. Knee by Hollenbeck from the clinch. And remember, that's how Kraus lost his last fight to Risty was the knee to the jaw in round two. Under a minute remaining in the opening frame. That's one of the problems when a fighter ducks down into a Kraus and starts to go to the body. He's open to get a knee. Hollenbeck in the up, corner, that up, one just south Let's of the equator, back. referee Rosales, warning Hollenbeck to keep them up. Three strike combination, culminating with a left kick to the body by Hollenbeck, and he continues to go the left kick route on Kraus. Wow, I like the, I doubled up in that left roundhouse kick to the body and to the arm. Hollenbeck coming forward and nailing Kraus with the knee. He's got Kraus on his back foot for the most part when he attacks. Final 10 seconds. What has been a great start for American Kai Hollenbeck, who continues to back up decorated veteran Albert Kraus. Kai Hollenbeck's trainer lifted him up, uh, relieving some tension off the low back. That's what that does. It looks like a big bro hug, but actually it's a technique uh, which helps the fighter rejuvenate. So a good start for Kai Hollenbeck, again taking the fight on short notice, stepping in for English fighter Jordan Watson. And in that opening round, he landed 18 power strikes compared to two Kraus. How did you have the opening three minutes, fight professor? I gave that to Kai Hollenbeck. He stayed busier and he was doing more damage. And he was basically putting Kraus in the defensive quite a bit of the time. Kraus did land some shots, but Hollenbeck took the round. Kraus in the white gloves. Hollenbeck who just jacked his jaw with a right.